Uh, yes, so it's sono hi wa uh, san nin tomo ichi, ichi nichi chu soji to yashiki no naka o totono eru shakyo ni owareta. On that day, the three of them together, for the entire day, they were occupied or they were chased by the work of tidying up the inside of the mansions and cleaning. Perfect. Okay. So start sharing um, this slideshow. Can you read this bolded phrase for me when you can see it? Hi, um, you got put it that the day Karada. Um, the, the day that has ended. Hi, perfect. Um, do you know what Soro means? Soro. Um, it has the kanji for hand and well, that kind of looks something. Like I don't know. But soro means um to gather together, kind of, um, kind of like atsumeru to all. It's kind of like all of them. Oh, soro. Um. So let's go read this line from the book. He got Kurero Koroni wa Sorote Gutari Shi Karadaga Shin Made Hiekite Ita. Koro is the time. Yep, around. Right, Mani? Yep. Roniwa. Around the time when the day ended. Sorote guttari shi. Gather together. Guttari shi. Guttari is um. Taru. Guttari is a sound effect. What... That's why we have the shi here. She is adding suru. Suru. Guttari suru. It's not good tari, um it's not good taru shi um it's guttari plus suru. Um so guttari suru means to be like limp, like to be exhausted. So all of them are exhausted. Wakata. All of them were exhausted. Karadaga shin made to the core of the body. Hiekite ita. They were soaked. They they're wet. Or cold. Yeah, they're cold. Yep, they're chilled to the core of their body. Um, do you know how to read these bolded words? Danro, danro, and mofu. Perfect. And what's the uda of something? Ura is the backside. Yeah, the bottom side. And how do you say roof in Japanese? Hane. Uh, or yane. Hi, yane. Perfect. How do you read this kanji? Ura. Perfect. Can you read this word for me? Yane ura heya. Do you think maybe there might be rendaku in this word somewhere? Yane ura 
Bella. Hi, Bella. Perfect. And what what do you think is the Yaneura Bella? The room that is on the back side of the roof yes. tile. The roof tile is a different word in Japanese. Tile is kawara. Ka wa da and has this kanji. This is tile. Yane is the word roof. So kawara kawara yane would be roof tiles or the tiles on the roof. So this right here is just um on the opposite on the bottom side of the roof there is a room which is an attic. Can you read this example sentence for me? Yane ura beya niwa mofu ni kuru matta otoko no ko ga ita. A boy exists, or there is a boy that is uh, matta, okuru matta, cover with, wrapped with. Hi. A it in the attic. Perfect. And do you know how to read this little phrase? Teen. Oh, uh, God. This is Zoku. Teen Zoku ga kogeru. Hi. What does this mean? Kogeru is to be blackened. Yeah, to be burnt. Kinzoku is the the um that layer of um good guess it's not so keen. Keen, Robin Green pronounced as kane, right? So kane tends to mean money. Keen normally means gold or money. So, um, or metal. Sorry. Keen is uh, gold or metal because gold's a type of metal. Metal, but kane is the money one. So we're here we got keen. Um, so it tends to be more likely to be metal. Like not always like ginko. I don't think that has kane in it. Um, zoku, the kanji has nothing to do with the word, but whenever I see it, I think of the word kazoku, because that also has a zoku at the end. Different kanji, but the family of gold is metal. It has all metals, because gold is a member of the metal family. Because kinzoku is metal. So metal is burnt, or is burning, will be burnt. Eventually burns. Kinzoku ga kogeru. Funny, um, that kanji that was pronounced doku, the, right. the actual meaning is family, or it just sound like the, um, the kanji I believe for the family. meaning is like retainer. It's different than the one in kazoku. It's a different kanji. Um, but the meaning of kenzoku no zoku is um, genesis. Uh -huh. Genesis. So metal genesis. So the thing that come out of metal? Yeah. Referring to metals in general. Hi. Kinzoku is metal. Hi. Uh, how about these bolded words? Here we have A. And then the second bolded word is Ryu, I think. Ryu. Close. So right. is it Ri? You? Or is it Ryu? You. Hi, hi, hi. You. The difference is that there's no E sound in Ryu, but there is an E sound in Ryu, which means reason. It's a hard one to say. Ryu. Ryu. Yeah, no E. Hi. So Ryu is a dragon and E is a picture. Uh, do you know what a Mushi is? 
bug. So, so, so. Bushi from Pokemon. Hi, there are bug type Pokemon. Um, so that kanji right there is Mushi. Can you read this word for me? Um, Mushi, 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 Kui. Hi. So Mushi Kui means something that was eaten by bugs. So in English, we normally say moth eaten. But in Japanese, it's just bug eaten, right? We're not saying moths. But that's what we say in English. We say, oh, it's moth eaten. It's something that has like holes in it after being stuck in your cupboard a while. Mushi Kui. Money, does that also figuratively mean that it's referring to something that is ragged? Yes. Or does it actually have to be eaten by a bug? Can it be um, a This is something? the ragged meaning, like moth eaten. In English, that doesn't actually mean the item was eaten by moths necessarily. It just means you have an item, normally fabric, that was probably stored for a while. And when you got it out, it has holes in it. So I don't think it's actually used that much to refer to something actually eaten. Um, but it can be, it looks like, looking at the official definition. So if you see a leaf that has holes in it from like the caterpillar, that is a mushikui. So it's used for both. Um, はい。わかった。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。
Perfect. one flat object. And what do, so uh, so kudumu is a lot like that word we saw earlier, which was to um wrap. Kudumu just is the ga versus o um exchange. What is the te form of kudumu? Kurun, kurunde. Kurunde. Perfect. So here is an example sentence with that kurumu, kurunde in it. Uh, that was spelled wrong. Um, I'll be junin. Sorry, I wanted a shunin. That's the word. <laughs> Shunin? Yeah. Shujin. Shujin. Owner. Hi. Shujin wa? Kogeta. Shujin wa kogeta. Sui sho, sui sho dama o? Mushi, mushi kui no mo fukireru. Mofuki de Kurunda. Mofuki de Kurunda. How do you say blanket? Mofu. Hi, Mofu. Perfect. Mo I, don't know, I thought you were adding a ku in there. I was hearing Mofuku. I did. Yeah. I I totally did. You 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 um you picked that up. Um Mofu de Kurunda. And we say that Kurunda was um to snatch? Uh, to wrap. To pillage? To pillage was to wrap. um very similar. Kus, kusuneru was to snatch. Kurumu was to wrap. Wrap. Hi, right, so in this sentence, um, the owner wraps the crystal ball the water crystal ball, the black and water crystal ball with a blanket that was moth eaten. Perfect. What a word, ragged. Right, right, right. Okay, Oof, long sentence here. Let's go read the line from the book. Hi. Benetto ga mushi koi da rake da rake no mofu ga Sumata Sumu Sumata was was from Sumaru Stuffed Sumata Cramped Hako Stuff Cramped Sumata Hako O Mitsukete Hitano de Mitsukete it Mitsuke Mitsukeru. To to look at something, to stare at something, it's mitsukeru. Really, really close. You think I'm mitsu say... me do. Mitsukeru, it's like mitsuketa, which is I found it. Found. Mitsuketa. Right, so here it's a mitsukete kita no de. Kita is he came. He came to find the box. And therefore, in this no case, that. I would, I would probably like, like. You're right; that could be the meaning here. But since it's Benetto doing the action and not, um, Ore, I would assume instead that Benetto mitsukita and brought the bako closer to the main character. Because as you can see, Benet's doing the action. So if you're talking about a third person party, normally that person is getting closer to the speaker, the thinker in this case. But if it, the subject was ore, then you'd be totally right. Wakata. So here the subject is Veneto ga. So he 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 discovered or he found he found the box. He brought it close. The box is stuffed uh, with uh, blankets. The, that was um badly here darake meaning badly in in terms right. of quantity uh of mushi uh kuroi 
Three. Lots of holes, lots of moth eating um, hi, hi, hi. shape. Um, therefore, Orewa Soko Kara Nan Mai Kaku Suneta Musuneru Some quantity Nan Mai Ka Hai Nan Mai Ka, some amount, some quantity of Kusuneta. He always say that kusuneru is uh to 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 snatch Hi. no to wrap to snatch to wrap or oh, to snatch kusune kusune so so I snatch some amount of ore wa soko kara from from this I snatch a a few. So I basically I snatch a few blankets by yep. contacts. Contacts, we know it's um, blankets because if you're snatching something from inside of the box and we're specifically told the box has blankets and blankets are flat objects like we can't with my, it's logical to assume that is the item that he snatched. He snatched several blankets from there. Right. And kogeta suishodama to kinzoku This kanji is bu. Hi. Now, is it shina or is it? Shina is hin? the um single reading, so it's hin. Bu hin. Hin. Bu hin. No. Hako to. Wani no. Hakuse to. Ryu. 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 Ryu no. E o kuromi. kurumi. You would say that kurumi or kurumi is the action of kurumiru? Kurumi? Ru? Kurumiru is to do what? Kuru. Kurumu. Hi. I'll show you the kanji. To wrap. To wrap. To wrap. Kurumu. Here. We have the the stem form kurumi. Hi. So he wraps he wraps a series of things that describe as uh the picture of the ryu ryu the picture of dragon the taxiderm of the crocodile hakuse the box of metal component referred to as kinzoku buhin no hako. He also wrapped the water crystal ball that was burnt. Perfect. Kogeta sui shodama. And the next thing he did is was um yashiki no Yane Ura Be Ya E Hako B Ageta. So Ageta to bring up Hako B was Hakobu. Hi. So he carried them up towards the attic. Of the mansions. Perfect. Can you read this word for me? Hashibo. Does that mean candy? Good guess, but it's ladder. A ladder. You climb. Hashibo. All right. We know Hashi is a bridge. It's right. the same Hashi as a bridge. Mommy? It is not the same Hashi as bread. Hashi. This is Hashi for end. Hashi. This is hashi for bridge, hashi, and this is the hashi for chopsticks. So it's none of the hashis. It is similar to bridge in that both of these are made out of wood. But a hashigo is something that lets your small little brother child to climb up somewhere it can't reach. It's a ladder. 
Okay, let's go read the line from the book. Hmm. So here we have Yane Ura Beyani Ageru Hashigo wa Boro Boro da. Hi, can you read those Hiragana character for me real fast? Agaru? Hi, Agaru. So Agaru and Ageru both mean upwards. Ageru is like I go up the scare stairs, I climb up. Agaru means like to lead upwards. Is it a is it an a reflexive verb, Moni? Yeah. Does it mean that I go up or did no I one... cause something else to go up? The the bridge is doing the action. Hashigoa, I got it. So the hashi go up the attic. Hi. The hashi go the stair, the the ladder goes up into the attic. Hi. Boro boro. One at a time. Mm, good guess. That's tsugi tsugi. Boro boro means to be in bad shape. The ladder that goes up to the attic is in bad shape. So in English, we do the same thing Boro here, saying the go up, the ladder goes up to the attic. To not mean someone's climbing up the attic or that the ladder has gained sentience and is walking up there for some reason. But instead to say that's where it leads to. There is a ladder. The bottom is on the floor. The top of the ladder is at the attic. So it's just a funny thing about language right there. The ladder goes up to the attic. Where does it lead to? Oh, it goes up to the attic. There's, there's a weird thing, quirk about languages. Mm. Um, so, noboru. It goes. Yeah, it goes. Um, so, noboru means to go up. And normally, if you climb ladders, you don't use noboru. Um, you use the a different word. But because they're going to be using this verb in potential form, it's okay. So you do use this one in potential form. Um, so how do you put noboru into potential form? Nobaseru. No, that's causative. Nobo-ra-reru. Is that right, Mani? Nobo-ra-reru. I just forgot Maybe what not. verb this is. Maybe uh, not. So, no, it's not. I was thinking it wasn't, but I was like, I had to check. So, noboru is a u verb. You conjugate it like if it was a redu verb. This is a r plus u verb. I mean, I probably could have just went like that. I would have been faster. <laughs> um, r plus u. So, if it was ra de du, that'd make it into a redu verb. Uber is for potential form, not passive. Potential form is different. My hint is e. Ra eru. No bo de du. Is potential form. No bo ra no no bo ra de du is passive form, and no bo. Um, raseru is um causative form because noboru is a do verb. I mean, u verb, r plus u. Um, can you read this example sentence for me? No, this is an u verb. Hi, this is an u verb. Was no bo no bo reru. Had it been a ru verb, it would have been no bo ra reru. Hi. My goodness, is the opposite of the nai form. This is so messed up. <laughs> the nai form is opposite. There's no ah sound for the ru, no for, the, for the ichidan. But had it been an u verb, the ah sound dropped. No. 
That would be an ah sound. Okay, okay. It is an opposite of the negative form. So here is uh let's see, let's say taberu. That is an example of a new verb. Noboru is often is different. Nobo dareru, nobo um deru, nobo raseru, nobo raseru. So the only one that conjugates the same is passive form. Hi. So, so, so here we can see. Uh, Here we can see that for the root verb, as as exemplified by taberu, in the nai form, in the negative form, it's simply tabe nai, no a sound. But in the noboru, the u verb, the negative form have the a sound in it, nobo ra. Nai. Adding a so, ah. so that's that's an ah sound in the in the nai form for the for the u verb. Now, if we look at the potential form, we see the opposite occurs. The u verb dropped the ah uh, the ah sound, and it simply had no bo reru. Whereas for taberu, it adds the ah sound. Producing taberareru. So the opposite occurred in the case in, in, in the case of the negative form and the potential form of these two categories of verbs. That's what I was thinking in my mind just now. I mean sure, I'm not sure, but what if it makes sense for you, sounds good. Got the things over there for you. <laughs> Right. Okay, let's go read this example uh, sentence. So, Dorobo wa hashigo o noboreta. It is possible to climb on the stairs. So with regard it was possible to, the thief, to climb the stairs. Hi. Um, do you know how to read this word? Stair. Hi. Um that's the kanji for horizontal. Yes. Yeah. So yoku. Yokoki. Yokoki. Yoko Yokoki. Hi. Weird enough, not gi. Not sure why. Yokoki. That's ka. Voiceless, maybe. K, K, K. Yokogi. Yokoki. So we have ki for wood, and we're talking about it being horizontal. So a horizontal piece of wood is a bar, but specifically a horizontal bar. A piece of wood that is horizontal, um, which is you know this way. Yeah, um, this is how it's used in the book, and I feel like you'll be able to tell what it's referring to. Let's go read it. So hashigo no yokoki, right. the horizontal, the horizontal of the ladder. So it's talking about the rung, each yep. individual rungs. Exactly. Goes up the ladder. Perfect. Hi, right. and you know how to read this word? Hanbu, half yep. of something. Perfect. So let's go read the line from the book. Yane ura be yani agaru hashigo wa. Yo ko ki ga hanbun naku natte. 
ita ga koma nanto ka noboreta nanto is some amount right Molly? it could be that in this case it's like somehow or the other nanto ka dekiru nanto somehow or the other so it say that half it say that with regard to the ladder that leads up to the attic some amount not some amount it say that the yoko kiga hanbun half of them naku not that had become not it it not exists some of them had come Hi. not to exist half of them had not to exist yep perfect that ita for the the ita the ita here referred to the past form of iru meaning that's the condition that is currently in yes up, up until now during that time so right, how, it was. however somehow, somehow or the other nanto ka noboreta it was it was possible to to climb it's yes. still possible to climb somehow or the other yeah so in this case he did climb when you hear the sentence it means he climbed up i was able to climb it somehow or the other right so it insinuates he climbed it but he's focusing that it's kind of surprising that he was able to climb it right because half of the yoko keys are gone um so the bridge that goes up to the attic half of the rings were gone but i was able to climb it anyway that we use that same was able in Funny, english I'm Hi. confused i'm confused about the ita again why is it not not i don't know why, why, why must it, it be not the it is not data what why can it just be not the ga why can it just stop right there the not yes why can it just be not the well, um, it's, it's ta, ta right here because the becomes... sentence is in past tense. It's not the ga. Ga takes a full sentence ender, but the sentence itself is in past tense. So in the past, this had happened. Um, this is what was going on. It was um, naru. It was hanbu naku naru is uh what the sentence was um or not deiru I guess was what it was not deiru which was. It was, it is currently right at this moment, in the has state. missed in the state of not having anything. It's saying this is the fact, it has happened. Uh, not the, in certain contexts, you could do that. Um, but that just means it was gone, which they're not really focusing on. They're just, they're more focusing on the fact that, that the state it is in currently is that there is half of it gone. That's what has happened. Um, and then the ta was added because the sentence is in past tense. Hi, what got that? It it is weird though about when you use one tense or the other. Um, sometimes if you reword the sentence slightly, you could do either. Um, but there that can definitely be confusing. I would say with that, you would want to just practice using it and then get a native speaker to correct you to get um the iru versus not having iru when it's naru versus not deiru. But the ta is here just because the sentence is in past tense. Um, How do you read this word? Kinzoku buhin. Perfect. Can you read this word for me? Dasu. Perfect. Dasu, which is to, just to uh, is it to rush out? That's to, a good guess. Rush through. It just means to push out, out. or to stick out, right? Tuki to stick and dasu out. Dasu. Tuki dasu. Stick out. What is the past tense form of tuki dasu? That was an u verb. So suki da. 
Shichita. Shukidashita. Yep. So it ends with soup. Okay, let's go read this example sentence. Koshaku wa ka. This is not sora, but a window Mado. is um. Mado. Mado kara atama. This is not atama. This is kao face. Kao o suki dashita. I stick my face. Out of the window. Hi, who stuck their face out of the window? No, the Duchess. Hi. The Duchess stick her faces, or stick her face from the window, actually. Yes. She so out, out the, window the window works fine because that translates better in English. But literally, it is from the window, she sticks out her face. So we'd want to reorganize it that way to say from. Um, Oshikomu. So, osu is to push. What do you think oshikomu means? To push in. Yep, to into. push into. Perfect. What is the ta form of oshikomu? The ta form is oshikonda. Right, oshikonda. Perfect. So, next oshikonda. um sentence. Dorobo wa mado kara he ya no naka ni. Nan ka o oshikonda. The thief pushes in something at the inside of the room. Right, the inside of the room. From the window. Right. Yeah, the little picture. We have the feet outside. Push. They are pushing something through the window into the room. Um, do you know how to read this word? Right. This is... So the second kanji is motsu. Right. The first nan is not nan. It's it something ni, else. Na, nimotsu. 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 Luggage. Perfect. Um. So, uh, haneagedo is one of those um little. Like like the kind of door you kind of picture to be in the attic, but um it has like a hinge right here, and the door kind of opens like a flap, like a flap door. It's a haneage door. The oh. flap so, door that opens on yeah. the window. No, this just is it's it's a flap door. Um, there are flap doors that open on windows, probably like for your dog. I think your dog sometimes in your door. Not normally through windows, but people have done that. It just is a doll that has a flappy hinge. Hane age do. Perfect. So let's go read the Hane... sample sentence. Hane age do kara. The apprentice from the flap door stick out his face. Perfect. Okay. Um, let's go read this line from the book. Hane age do kara nimotsu o Oshikonda ato. We say that Oshikonda is to push in. <laughs> to, ato. Kao o tsukidashite. 
突き出して覗いてみた。覗い i s something to do with the action of looking. Yep. 覗い。To look. Right, yep. Molly? To, to look what? To look in what way? Like to, to gaze. To peek. To peek. No zoi te mita. Try to peek. I, I try to peek. Okay,、yep. so. I try to peek. Suki das te. I poke my face out to peek.、Yep. After. I push the luggage from the flap door. Hi. Where do you think the main、After、character I push is? In the, the... Do you remember? Where is he? So he finds. He no b o t He no b o t e Hi, hi. He finds. So he's in the attic. Hashigo. Now he's in the attic. He、poked his head into the there attic. There must be a flap door. Yep, flap door for the opening. That access to the attic. Hi. And from that, from, that, from that door, he pushes the luggage in, in the attic.、Right? Hi. I'm guessing he pushes in the、exactly. attic already. A- a- afterward, now he sticks his head or his face. First is the luggage, now is his head. Yeah, you、now、think you'd first look up and make that sure that the, the luggage fits up there, but Khan lives on the edge. Hi.、Right. Luggage g o in first, now his head goes in, and he peeks. And he peeks. He Do attempts you know to, how peek. to read this word. He, well, mita just means it's like a h a j i m e t e kind of feeling. Like it's the first time he's ever nozokud at the location. So, try is like the best way normally to translate mite, but it normally means like they succeeded, right? It means like he was like, oh, I'm going to go try to look. And you look and you're like, oh, look, I looked. So, even though he tried, it does tend to sound weird in English. It just kind of means like he didn't, he has never tried to look before, kind of like that kind of idea, I guess is how you could think of it. Hi, this is his first experience of this attic. Hi. His first time looking at it. Hi.、Uh, tenjo. Perfect. The、Excuse、ceiling.、Um, do you happen to know what katamuku means? No. Katamuku is、um, a slope. Katamuku. Slope. And this is used in lots、slope. of ways in Japanese. Um, right now, it's used to mean slow, but it can also be used to refer to the sun setting, which is interesting. So it's like if the idea is if it's straight line straight to the sun as it tilts, because it means to tilt, is the other meaning for it, it goes down. So it's to tilt or to slope.、Uh, so in this case, tilting, sloping, either works.、Um, so you wouldn't use this for like a hill, you use it as like a, something at an angle. It's katamuku. Um, what is the te form? Katamuku. Te form. Ite. Hi, Katamuite. Katamuite. You know how to read this word? A low voice. Hi. How do you read it? Um. Kui? Yep, he could eat. Perfect. Could eat it. Could eat it. Um, let's go read this example sentence.、Oh, sorry, this should be a moon here. Katamuita. Katamuita. Tenjo wa hikui. We say that Katamuita was sloping down.、Right. So the s i l sloping down. Kuita is low. Hi, what is low? The ceiling Hi, is the ceiling. low. And is tilted. So something kind、and、of like、tilted. this. 
tilted Tilt ceiling. ceiling is low. Right. Um, and you remember this adjective? Um, semi. Perfect. So, naname is the noun that means slope, like a slope. So, katamuiteru is to tilt, to do the um, sloping. But naname is the noun of being sloped, of being diagonal. Um, can you read this sentence for me? Hi. Right. Say my, which means thin. Hi, narrow. Ten o wa. The narrow ceiling. Are they referring to the space in this in between case? his head and the, and the actual ceiling, or is he referring to the surface of the ceiling being thin? I think this would uh be the the ceiling being thin. So my tendril. Um, the, the actual Hi. thing it's made out of, funnily enough, it's a directly text. So, then my then my wa na na me ni kata muite iru. So at the angle, kata muite iru, and we say that kata muite is. De uh, a, a decline. Hi. Right? Naname and katamuiteru basically has the same meaning. This one is a noun that's used as an adverb, and this one's just the verb. So it just says the ceiling is tilted, tilted, li li. So in English, it's tilted at an angle, perhaps, or it's slant. It's it's a, the 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 narrow the narrow ceiling is slanted. Slantedly, so it's Hi. excessive in English, but you could say tilted at an angle It'd be a little bit better. Um, tilted yori so and holga. That's something that you've struggled with before. Can you read the example sentence for me? Ichigo yori ringo no holga oki. So what here, let me try this. This one say, this one say that, that the apple. No ho. Bingo no ho ga. Okay. That there's more apples than there are strawberry. What does oki mean? I'm sorry. Large. Hi. The apple is larger than the ichigo. Than Perfect. the strawberry. Yep, apples are larger. Wait, has oki ever mean numerous money? Is no, you're thinking like about a... oi. 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 Um, which also starts with o, oh, oh, but different kanji. O oh, is a large quantity. So oki oh, is just big it's in size. But oi oh, without the ki is the word that means large quantity. Um, so how would you say the twilight district is narrower than the dawn district? So in other words, the dawn district is less narrow than the twilight district. Right, so it, narrower than the Don district. So the Don district is Akebo no Gai. That's right. the Don district. More than the Don district, meaning Yori. Right. Akebo no Gai. Now, the thing that we're talking about is Twilight district. So Tazogare Gai no Ho. So on the side of Tazogare, Tatsugare gai no ho ga. Now the descriptor, which is narrower, which is semi. Perfect. So Didn't the, hesitate the at all. Twilight, twilight on the side of the twilight district, it is narrower than that of the dawn yep. district. From this district, if you go to this side, this guy is more narrow. Okay, it's narrower. Uh, do you know what hoka means? Like hoka no? Hoka no koto. Hoka. As a this kanji. Hoka. 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 
、他のこと。Uh, oh, the other. Yes, the other. The、Perfect. rest. Hi, the other. That which is not you. Yes, that which is not what you were talking about before. <laughs> Hi. Hi. So here is our last line of the day, I believe. Hoka no heya yori semai kute. So here's semai is in the ku form. Instead of e, it's ku. De. It's、Why、in te、that? form. Because it's in te form.、Uh, you have an and right here.、Kute? Yeah, smakte. This adjective is in the te form. Hi. This adjective. The t e f o r m meaning and, so there's another descriptor behind it,、right. which is hikui. So it's not only narrow but thin. Tenjo ga. So, what does narrow mean? Narrow means that the physical space is narrow, so he cannot spread his arms out basically.、Hi. If he if he were to enter that if he were to enter that narrow space, he would basically have to crawl in. Uh, with his hands tightly around his body.、Hey. Right? That's the meaning of narrow. Right, Moni? Like a snake. Yeah.、Um, narrow works, I think, in all directions as well. As long as, you have, as long as you have barely any room to move, that makes it narrow, I think. So you could have like a cave like this and you're trying to squeeze yourself through there. That would still count as narrow, even if you're not sorry, referring to the Horizontal narrow, narrowness. Narrow can also be up and down. I don't think narrow has a vertical or horizontal distinction, but you're correct. It, he, he, he possibly might be the, the, be touching the walls of the attic.、Um, he, he's, he's definitely、uh, can't stand in the attic. Maybe he could because he's tiny.、Hi. So in this, in this sentence, it gives two descriptors one is sem, semi. Hi. The other is hikui. So、I、hikui、suppose. is low. So definitely. His, I just want to point out gonna... that we are, do have te form here with a comma. Just in case you think this te form is here because this is an e adjective, which is not why. If we didn't have that e adjective there, we would still be saying semakte. Because this is just te form meaning and, right? The subject of this sentence is heya, the yane. Yane no、oh, these are two different clauses.、はい、the hikui and the semai had nothing to do with each other. So, right, because we're comparing a heya not to a ceiling,、okay. we're comparing a heya, hoka no heya to kono heya, right? That's why hoka no is being used.、はい、That insinuates so, there is something to compare it with. Hi. So here, what it's saying then is that Okano heya yori semai te semakute. So this room, this attic in particular, is narrower than those other rooms、exactly. that he had experienced so far at this mansion. Hi. And then he further s a y that he kui tenjo gao. The ceiling that is low,、Hi. it n a n a m e n i angling kata muite iru. It's angle at an angle. The low、Hi. ceiling, it angle at an angle. So, so basically, this sentence is basically two s e n t e n c e He just smacked two s e n t e n c e together using a t e r form because he、exactly. talked about two different things. Yep, got a nice little and there. This room is narrower than the other rooms and its low ceiling is slanted. It is slanting at a slant. <laughs> This is very funny sounding in English. Naname ni kata mu i teru. Yeah, that is where we'll be stopping.、Um, any questions before we 